Happy Christmas everybody! Today is Christmas Day and we have a very special game with Fortales and one with ABC who have a manager we've all probably heard of. <laughs> Welcome to Around the World with 80 Clubs. I'm the Mars Manager and I'm here to wish everybody a happy Christmas. If my calculations are right, today is Christmas Day. And since you were last with me and those two defeats, sadly we didn't bounce straight back. We drew one all with Italy, with Lima grabbing a 92nd minute equaliser we then lost to crb 2-1 um they they scored all the goals in that one we then switched our formations back to the attacking one where we drew one all with ponte Prete, with lima getting a goal we then won one nil with tom bensi and jar sport Receive. We won comfortably 4-2 with Charlie with a brace, Lima and Tonetti. It was comfortable and then sort of the 80th minute onwards we solidified the result but we were comfortably the better team. We then most recently drew with Remo, one all with Charlie getting the goal. So the transfer season has begun so we'll go back to the seventh first signing we brought in was Mohamed Dagger who was a two-star current abilities two-star potential ability 33 year old right back I needed a right back and I tried to bring him in on a free um, didn't really work he wasn't very good and I found a better one so he's actually gone straight out on loan um, and they've got an option to buy as well. Uh, we also let Felipe go, Luis Felipe, um, for 31,000. We then made 550,000 for Jardson. He wasn't playing, so we let him go. Uh, Fernando left us as well. He started moaning about team first team so we managed to get him for 600 going up to 725 Lorenzo then went for 250k 31 year old again Gerrard went out for 75 who is a 32 year old this is just getting rid of some of the things um, Gulahama has gone out on loan until the end of the season uh, which is good. Canetti as well has gone out. He was another one which we didn't really want to go, but we were offered two million. And as a 30 year old, I thought it was better to cash in. And last but not least, Kazula has gone out, 32 year old. We let go for 28k. So back to the ins. JP Chamelot came in as a right back, 23 year old, three star current ability, four star potential. So he's obviously taken. I managed to get him in the same day as Dagger, but Dagger was pre arranged. So um, unfortunately, I couldn't cancel it. Brandino was the next one with uh, one and a half star current ability, two star potential ability, striker. Uh, that was a bit of a mistake. The scout said he was good and they lied. Um, Mattioli came in next as an attacking midfielder with three and a half star current ability, five star potential, 16 finishing, 16 vision. 
means he's got everything in that position. He's only 5'11", though, so I don't think he's a striker. Biel then came in on loan. Um, we've got him until the end of the season. He's a striker slash attacking midfielder with good decisions and determination. Um, I think he probably, hopefully, join us come the end of the season, if, especially if we need him. Um, that's why we got him alone. De Silva was next for £2.9 million. His central midfielder was a two-and-a-half star current ability, four-and-a-half star potential ability. Absolutely brilliant at the age of 20 already. Got good physicals, good mentals. His first touch passing and technique are looking good. Um, so he's adding a bit of depth into the centre. We've paid a lot of money for him, but I think he could step up the level. The next one is Rios, who is a two-star current ability, four-and-a-half-star potential ability right back from Argentina. He's coming for 775k. We needed a backup, and I thought we'd get a youngster in as backup. Um, and he'll probably grow with the club. We then got a bit more experience. I'd let most of the experience go at this point. So I wanted somebody. So we got two and a half star current ability, two and a half star potential ability. Darwin, who can play as that DM um, with a tackling and good marking. Really, really happy with him. And then Paulinho is coming on loan as well. Um, who is a three and a half star current ability, three and a half star potential ability, he can play anywhere in midfield. So it's just adding a bit of depth, a bit of experience again, both of those on loan. And uh, that's looking good. So for today's game, we actually have a new tactic as well. With Marikovic in goal, Torneto, Enrique, Ja and Garcia at the back. With Darwin as the halfback, Ronaldo and Paulinho in midfield. Lima behind Bale and Charlie up top. I wanted to try this. Um, this is the first game we're doing it for. I found that with the DM, we were not letting in as many goals as we were before. But without that attacking um, midfielder, unfortunately, we uh, weren't scoring. So I thought, best of both worlds, let's see what this does. Going to a more conventional now. Obviously, this team is second place, and we are currently... A little bit lower. Um, I forget where we are in the league exactly, but we're hovering around the playoff section. Unfortunately, um, it doesn't look like we're we're gonna win the league, but there is still potential. So, if we win this game, we have a chance of going on a decent run and. It will be interesting to see how the formation sits. Now Garcia on the ball plays it through, but unable to find a shirt. Ronaldo to be unable to get there. Reninho plays it over to Perez who hits the crossbar and Rike manages to clear and Ja finishes off the clearance. So yeah, we're seventh. I think the league title's gone, but nine points behind Flores is, uh, with a win. Second place is not beyond a shout and we could still push for playoffs, I think. Ball comes across to Perez. It's cleared out very far as Bruno. And Paulinho clears. Surely not. He got the ball. The ball went off that direction. 
Yes, no penalty. That's one thing I've noticed actually since the latest update is penalty decisions. We're getting no penalty quite often as well now, um, which is good. I, it was really predictable VAR before. Everything was just like if it went VAR, it was a penalty. But Perez, they get a throw in and Perez has scored. But is it offside? Referees checking. Goal disallowed. He was offside. Wow. So the ball comes across. That's tight. Oh, I don't know about that. That looked onside to me, but hey-ho. Got a bit of Christmas music on in the background today. It's a little change. Um, let me know if you like the music in the background because I can play other music in the background after, obviously, Christmas. Um, I'm quite enjoying it. But, yeah, it's uh, definitely interesting. Oliveira to Monero and... Oh, Perez hits the ball in the back of the net. Uh, we, it's a bit of a mess up there between the keeper and the defenders. No one really knew what to do. Henrique looking like he could do with the rest. So we're going to make some changes now. Uh, Enrique is definitely coming off for, sorry, for Pompey. Um, Rios is coming on on the left. And JP is coming on on the right. So we're just freshening up our wing backs who are the main sort of source of width. And one of our centre-backs, who was a bit tired coming into the game. But here's Charlie to Darwan. Darwan to Pompey. To Ronaldo, to Jar. Jar plays it to JP. JP to Lima. Bial plays it back to Ronaldo. Ronaldo into Polinio. Ball falls to Charlie. Can Charlie do anything with it? He's wide and he plays it back to Polinio, whose shot is blocked for a corner kick. And Polinio now taking the corner. Plays the ball towards the back post, but is gathered by... I have no idea how to pronounce their keeper's name. And I think I almost got it spot on. With... Weverson. Oh, come on. That's the biggest dive I've ever seen in my life. He fully clingsmaned. Thank you. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna push to very attacking and demand a little bit more. Uh, see what this boy is gonna do. Charlie now, Charlie on the ball plays it back to Ronaldo. Ronaldo's lost out, but Darwin's gathered to Jar to Ronaldo. Ronaldo tries to swing it round but can't get enough movement on the ball. But Darwin now picks up the second ball to Pompey, back to Ronaldo, back to Darwin. Darwin's possibly fouled there. He's gone down in a heap. And Paula plays it to Landerson, who drags his shot wide. But Darwin taken down there was not very nice, was it? Unfortunately, we lose 1-0, but we did look better in that game. Uh, so... Join me in a second for our second game of the episode. I'll see you in a second. 
Hello and welcome back. As promised, a name that's familiar to most of us, David Luiz is the ABC manager. He actually looks semi-good. Um, he was previously at CRB. Um, after ending his career playing for Flamengo, but yes, all is all good. So today we've got Marikova in goal with Tonetti, Enrique, Jar and Garcia at the back. Darwin as the defensive midfielder, Ronaldo and Polinio in central midfielder, Lima, Bale, Biel and Charlie up top. So here goes. I'm hoping for a victory here. Um, ABC aren't the best, and we're seriously dropped off the the league in as far as the league's gone. Um, so uh, it'd be great to. I think we need a win to even start pushing back up that table. But the ball flies over to Anderson now. Anderson plays in across. It's headed just over. But as things are going, we are not playing well. I'm going to demand more after 10 minutes. They've had two shots both off target. We've now had three. We look to be in the game a bit more. 67% of possession. But Bale needs to come off. He's picked up a knock. So we're going to bring on... We're going to make some changes here. So Lima goes up top. And then we're going to bring... Martioli on as the Trequartista. But Anderson's just over the crossbar. Marikovic um, is out injured. I think it, it, pretty sure it's just a virus. Um, and he was cleared after a day to come back, so I think he should be all right. We need to win this game. This team are bottom of the league. Not acceptable. We're going attacking. A win would boost us right up the league as well. Here's Mezenga to Kleber to Justin to Kleber. Kleber plays it across. The keeper's going to come and claim, surely, yes. That can't be the highlight. So Marikovic, come on. Plays it out to Enrique. Enrique to Tineto. Tineto plays it inside to Paulinho. Paulinho now plays it across to Matoli. Matoli to Paulinho. Paulinho back to Tonotti. Tonotti to Paulinho. To Ronaldo. And it's just over the bar. I'm going to up the tempo a bit. Garcia now. To Lima, back to Garcia, plays it to Jar. Jar pumps the ball over the top, headed on by Charlie to Paulinho, who puts the ball in the back of the net to get his first goal for the club. Guess we needed that, and that will push us back up the table.
keeper's going to gather that comfortably. Passes out to Tenotti, to Ronaldo now. Ronaldo to Polinio. Polinio to Lima. Lima tries to play it on to Charlie, but it falls to Matteo Lee, and he gets his first goal for the club as well. And my hat's fallen off, and everything's going everywhere. Yes, what a goal. Doesn't really fit over the mask that well. Mattioli, it was a great goal there to make it 2-0. And that puts us, we need one more goal to put us up to sixth. Can we get another goal? I'm going to praise them while we're playing well. Ronaldo now. Plays it to Lima. Can Lima find the ball and runs out to Garcia. Ja now to Paulinho to Ronaldo to Ja. Ja to Lima to Mat Mattioli to Ja to Enrique to Darwin. Darwin plays it out to Tonetu. Tonetu to Paulinho. Can Paulinho find a ball across? He does to Charlie. He makes it three. Yes. Yes. This is what I wanted. Something which is sound defensively, good attacking. I think we just need to be a bit more positive on the tempo. And this could really take off. So that's what we're going to do, I think. I think I'm going to rise the tempo and the tactic a little bit because since I've done that, we have looked like such a better side. Winnick now on the ball, plays it out to Justin. Justin to Kiva. Kiva to Anjos. And just to Enrique Anderson, Perezo. But it's gone over. And that's full time and a great victory. Oops, I don't know what I've said. I think I clicked the wrong thing there. But a great victory. Scoring on debut. I'm going to apologise. Uh, For my team talk because I clearly pressed the wrong button. Schedule wise, so I think we need to play a few games. Um, I think we'll come back for Grunny and Nutico and then come back for the final two games. So, yeah, we'll come back next game for Grunny and Nikito. So, thank you. I'm going to go big screen for this. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you for your support since FM24 was released. It means the world to me. And to everybody watching, happy Christmas. And until next time, I have spoken.